Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 7, Problem Set. So for number 1 it says, fill in the table below. List each set of rational numbers in order from least to greatest, then list their opposites. Finally, list the opposites in order from least to greatest. The first example has been completed for you. So if we look at the first example that was completed, you have negative 7 and 1 tenth, and negative 7 and 25 hundredths. They're saying that negative 7 and 25 hundredths is least, or further to the left on the number line, than negative 7 and 1 tenth. And then they're finding the opposites of those, and then they're relisting them from least to greatest. So I'll show you this next one down. And if you need to use a number line for this, that, uh, that can always help out. So I'll draw one quick. And I see I have a quarter and I have a half. So I'll do quarters as my scale. This is going to be negative and a quarter and negative and a half. And I see my first one is a quarter. And my second value is negative and a half. So when I'm listing these from least to greatest, I know negative a half is further to the left than a quarter, so that means that it has a uh, smaller value. So it's going to be the least. If I look at the opposites of those, and I'll do this in a different color, let's first look at the negative half. If this is zero, it's one, two jumps away. So the opposite means same distance away on the opposite side of zero. So one, two, it's going to be a positive half. And for one quarter, it's one jump away, so i got to go one jump the other way, so I have negative a quarter. So my opposites are a half and negative one quarter. And if I go least to greatest, I can look back at my number line. I have negative a quarter and one half. And I know negatives are going to have a lesser value than any positive number because negatives are to the left of zero and positives are to the right. We'll take a look at one more of these and I'm going to take a look at this one. Uh, negative 5 and negative 5 and 6 tenths and I'll slide this over and I'm going to draw a vertical number line to show this one just to help out and I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit I'm not going to show zero. Zero would be kind of up here. Then I'd have a negative one. So this would be a negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. So we can kind of pinpoint what's closest to zero. So I'll plot my five in there. And now I need to find the point for negative 5 and 6 tenths. And I know negative 5 and 6 tenths is between 5, negative 5 and negative 6. And right here where my blue line is, that's negative 5 and 5 tenths, or negative 5 and a half. So I know that that negative 5 and 6 tenths is just below it. So now... I really know uh, which one is least and which one is greatest because on a vertical number line, it's the, f the one closest to the top or the highest one on the number line, or we can say the furthest one to the right on a horizontal number line. So when I'm looking at that one, I see that uh, the greatest value is negative 5, so the least is 5 and 6 tenths, negative 5 and 6 tenths, and negative... 5. So if I do the opposites um, based on what we did up above, up here, I know that if it's 5 and 6 tenths away from 0 on one side, it's 5 and 6 tenths away from 0 on the other. So I had a negative uh, for my first value. Now I have a positive 5 and 6 tenths. And the same thing for the 
uh, negative five. It was five jumps um, in the negative side. Now it's five jumps to the positive. And order from least to greatest, five is less than five and six tenths. So now I want to take a look very quickly at that bottom question. For each row, what pattern do you notice between the numbers in the second and fourth column? And I'll type this one um, just to help out so you can kind of see what I'm thinking. I'll stretch it. And I see... Uh, what I notice about them is their opposites, meaning what was the least in column two is now the greatest in column four. And what was the greatest in column two is now the least in column four. So there's my statement right there that I typed up for you. That's what I'm noticing in terms of the second and fourth columns. Why is this so? Because we stated it in the very first one, they're opposites. So if it was the least, the opposite would be the greatest. And if it was the greatest, the opposite would be the least. Um, I hope this helps, and good luck on your homework.